The first example is this 13 year old girl. She had an internal rotation contractor of the shoulder with a limitation of active forward flexion and active abduction. She underwent a subscapularis release, a hopeful transfer, and a proximal rotation osteotomy. You see on the right the improvement of the active mobility of the shoulder. This is the case of a 10 year old child. He had essentially an internal rotation contracture of the shoulder. The range of motion in internal rotation must be systematically checked because an excessive humeral derotation may be harmful. He underwent a subscapularis release, a hopeful transfer, and a proximal rotation osteotomy. We note on the right the clear improvement of his active range of motions. Another case of a 10 year old child. He had only an internal rotation contracture of the shoulder without limitation of active forward flexion or shoulder abduction. On the right, you see the recovery of active external rotation. This external rotation is more evident in shoulder abduction because the transfer has a path closer to terus minor muscle than of the infraspinatus. Video below show the clear improvement of his active range of motions without excessive loss of internal rotation. He puts easily his hand in his pocket. This is the result with 6 years of follow-up for that girl operated at the age of 9 years. Note that the scar is well hidden. This is the case of a 10 year old child. He had essentially an internal rotation contractor of the shoulder. Radiography showed humeral head flattening. The osteotomy was performed alone, proximally to the deltoid insertion. You see on the right the result at 2 years and at 5 years of follow-up. Ultimately, the rotation osteotomy of humerus remains the ultimate solution of internal rotation contracture of the shoulder. If the osteotomy is performed above the insertion of the deltoid, it constitutes the equivalent of a muscular transfer, improving the shoulder abduction. This osteotomy is performed alone if there is advanced glenohumeral deformity. Otherwise, and especially if there is co-contraction of the deltoid and shoulder abductors, we add a for transfer to the proximal osteotomy. This would significantly improve shoulder abduction restore active external rotation and avoid recurrence of the internal contracture. Thank you.